it's the home stretch, ladies and gentlemen. Two weeks left in the regular season before we figure out who's going to the big dance, who's going to be the final 14 to make it to the final rounds. And final 14 just sounds weird, but we'll go with that. Greetings, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Haymakers podcast. I am Nikki B. That is Voice of Reason. And football is getting dumb. Oh, yeah, that's uh, that's that's putting it lightly. Uh, the comedy of errors that was Monday Night Football is just is just proof of that. Mm-hmm. Dum 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 dum. Uh, sp- All dumb. <laughs> but speaking of dumb, somehow, some way, the coin won this week. You know what? I can't. I cannot even be that. Hmm. But I kicked your butt. Okay, that is good. Yes, because I was the lone. I was the lone person. I picked the Steelers, and I was the lone person to pick the Titans to win. Called it again. No, the Texans. Sorry, Texans. the Texans. That's what I meant to say. Called it again. Mm-hmm. I mean, I I've been burned too many times by the Texans, but you. You got them right when both they were sort of kind of surging and the Titans are just completely self-destructing. Yep. Speaking of, is that your cue for loser for this week? All right, yes, my loser for the week, the Titans. Yeah, because they lost to the Texans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they are, they are just on a down – they are on a downward spiral. They have, honestly, the hardest schedule uh, going into uh, – Going into week 18, there is, I don't think there's a recovery. I really don't think there's a recovery because no. you have the Cowboys uh, Thursday uh, Thursday night football on a short rest. And then you have to co- mm-hmm. contend with the Jaguars again away. So Who are the hottest team in football right now. Mm-hmm. Because uh, that cold, because the uh, the Lions hit a cold, hit a, hit a cold streak uh, just uh, last Sunday. Yeah, they gave up 300 rushing yards to Deontay Foreman and checks notes. Uh, Chubba Bubba? Chubba Hubbard. Ah, uh, yes, the, the the ink that I scrolled on my hand uh, smudged. <laughs> yeah, Titans are not looking good, and there's a very good chance. There is a very, very good chance they are missing the playoffs. Yeah, they're already on the outside. Like the Titans have, or the the Jaguars have the lead in the AFC South. Uh-huh. We'll get to them more in a second, though. Right, uh, but yeah, it's not looking good for. Uh, it's not looking good for the Titans. But uh, who else is it not looking good for, Nikki? Um, I would say it's not looking good for the Dolphins right now because not only are they now, uh, now their losing streak has been extended to four games, but also. Two is out again. Yep, he's and in concussion. Like he's... Hmm? he's in concussion for protocol again. <laughs> for like the third time this season, like that's bad. Uh huh. Like, like Charles Woodson hopped on Twitter and said that he might want to consider retirement already. It's just like, god damn, that would suck. Yeah, which is a shame because he's been like he is the the spark for that team. Without him. They are nothing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you put in Bridgewater, who is a serviceable, like, borderline starting quarterback, and this offense regresses to, like, like freaking Browns levels of efficiency. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, but winners? Uh, winners. Uh, the team that beat the Dolphins, the Green Bay Packers. They're Good for them. They are having a great December. It's been so long since they've had success. I, as a Bears fan, I, I'm so happy for them. They had to go without success for like two months. The horrors. You know. You know the the funny part is, there's a hmm. like if the odds are in their favor, they can make the playoffs as the oh, seven, God. as the seven seed. Ah. Oh. Grassy's gonna be insufferable. <laughs> I I mean right. I mean don't get me wrong, they're they're 
the last two opponents are the Vikings and the Lions, so it's going to be an uphill climb. But if they mm-hmm. be, if they win out and the and I think if the Commanders lose, they could and, and they oh, sorry the Commanders lose out, they make the playoffs as the seventh seed. Yeah, it's it's that uh, it's that it's that luck. Uh, I mean, it's not the I mean, it's not the first time. Remember, to, uh, was it um, uh, Jaguar Gator Nine that uh, just pulled out a video about uh, when it was it two thousand six when the the Green Bay Packers had like one in fifty six thousand four hundred odds to get into the playoffs, <laughs> and somehow that sounds about right. Uh huh. Just when we thought they were good and gone. I was ready for our new Lions overlords. Just when they thought, just when you thought they were out, they pulled themselves back in. But anyway, you're a winner. Hey. The Jaguars. Oh yeah. I didn't. I didn't talk. I didn't talk about these guys last week because uh, I was too busy clowning on the Cowboys, as is tradition. Mm-hmm. But um, but yeah, they they're keeping it going. Uh, they pretty much killed Zach Wilson. Like. Yeah, he's he's dead now. The, the the Jets have demoted him to third string inactive. Ugh. Yeah, it, it's becoming more and more obvious that uh, 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 Zach Wilson might be on a bus, might be a bus on the level of like a freaking Ryan. Because like the, if they put it if if they have to put him back in, that offense is going to be like. It's 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 getting there. It really is getting there. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we're not here to talk about the number two pick in the 2021 draft. We're here to talk about the number one pick in the 2021 draft. Yes, the Jaguars are getting hot at the right time. They started out like two and six and are now like granted thanks to the. Uh, Titans completely self-destructing and nobody else in the division even being able to field a competitive XFL team mm-hmm. but like they're 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 doing it they're doing the thing that they need to do and it looks like Trevor Lawrence has ascended to that level where he's like a top 10 quarterback like he he is if not getting there he's getting very close mm. So who are the Jets going to get in the offseason? Uh, I've said this for months. Uh, my other Jets fan who I work with agrees with me. Jimmy Garoppolo. All right. All right. One MILF hunter to another. Except the, mil- except the MILFs cut. Well, I don't know. I, well, to be fair, Garoppolo's a little bit older. <laughs> right. Mm. Way handsome. Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> going back to this week, uh, I am one point ahead of you. Yep. W- yep, it's getting tight. It's, yep, coming down to the wire. And uh, I mm-hmm. think we're done with the Saturday games uh, for now. But this is also the last week that we have Thursday night football and Monday night football. Yeah, because week 18 is exclusively Sunday game. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And to kick off the oh, final... Wait, wait. How's your fantasy football team doing before we get too deep into this? Oh, uh, well, I'm in the consolation round, but I managed... No. But, I met, but I managed to squeak out a win uh, as the fifth place, mm-hmm. uh, being the being the uh, eighth place team, uh, thanks to... Uh, thank, thanks to time moves uh, by keeping in A.J. Dillon... And swapping mm-hmm. out my and swapping out Michael Pittman Jr. with George Pickens. Mm-hmm. Good move. Yes, very very good move. I listened to uh, my mom's cousin on that, and uh, he he surprised, and that was probably the best move uh, I did all week. Mm-hmm. And also, I also I picked up Gardner Minshew. Oh, that was probably a very good move. Oh my god, yeah, he he floored. Uh, even in the loss, he did amazing. Mm-hmm. So, uh, Ooh, Minshew's still available in my league. Oh, but so is Goff. I'm going to pick up Goff. Yeah, yeah, pick up, yeah, pick up Goff to go up against your, um, we'll, we'll get to that in a bit. Anyway, 
Thursday night game, last Thursday night game of the week, Cowboys taking on the Titans. Oh, Christ. The Cowboys. Right. Beat the, Cowboys beat the Eagles at home. So, splitting the series. Titans, as we said earlier, they're in a free fall. Like, Malik, like, it's kind of mean to say that Malik Willis isn't the guy, like, after his, what, fourth start of his career? But I'm not getting the good vibes. Uh Uh-uh. Especially considering we all thought that Malik Willis was a huge deal. Yeah. Like, like when the draft was coming around. But, yeah, like, this Titans team, like, is – like, not only is their quarterback situation messy, but, like, because it's so messy, they their running game is just completely, like, it, it's still good, but it's not what it used to be. Mm-mm. Like, Derrick Henry is not the same guy. No. Yeah. Uh, honestly, the, t- the Titans, I think, are the most hurt team I could, compared to, like, say, compared to, say, even the freaking Ravens, the Titans are... And again, Ravens have made the playoffs, by the way. Also, the Chargers. Mm-hmm. First time in the Justin Herbert era. Yep. Yeah, the yep. Tit- the Titans are... Uh, just need to get the season over with. They need to rest mm-hmm. up, get get their, uh, get their laurels in check, make sure no one mm-hmm. has a broken ankle or bruised rib or whatever, and just let the rest of the year play out. Uh, in, doing, yeah. in doing so... Cowboys get Cowboys get this win. Oh yeah, yeah, big time. Like, what's the spread on this one? I, I, I feel like it should be a bunch. Uh, well, according to the NFL sports book, just popping it in. Uh, ten and a half. That feels low. I feel like this is going to be a twenty-point game, easy. Uh, you never so know. You know. What they say? Double it. Double it. Double it. Double it. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, next. Uh, first of first of the New Year's Day games. Cardinals taking mm-hmm. on the Cardinals taking on the Falcons. Uh, both these teams have been eliminated from playoff contention. Uh, and I think both of them are in losses. So the Ravens um, beat the Falcons in the last one. Mm-hmm. And the uh, Bucks the beat Cardinals got bopped by the uh, um, what am I the Rams Card, uh, uh, by Buccaneers the Buccaneers yeah they got they, they were this close to winning with Trace McSorley and then they did not win with Trace McSorley no they did not because Brady happened Brady got a Brady but yeah so it's Desmond Ritter versus Trace McSorley who's hyped <laughs> oh no one no one's hyped Benny, are you hyped? Good answer. Yeah, this is this is a. Uh, I don't think it, no one's going to be paying attention to this game. The only thing that uh, it's going to be paying attention to is if the Cardinals can sink even lower for for a draft pick. Yeah, the Falcons actually feel like they are trying. Yeah. Like, like they they at least believe in what their head coach is trying to put on this team. Yeah, of course. The Cardinals are checked the fuck out. Mm-hmm. It's, it's going to be the Falcons. Yeah, this is a this is a uh, this is a Falcons win. Let's see what. The, uh, by the way, the coin has selected uh, the Cowboys to win, and mm-hmm. they're picking the yeah, the Cowboys are going to beat both the Falcons and the Cardinals. Yep, and they also pick the Falcons too. Mm-hmm. Okay, now I'm just thinking about how three way football would work. Yeah, it, it probably would be like a uh, like a weird triangle field. Yeah, like like a three pointed field where they all can meet in the in the at the fifty yard line in the center. <laughs> can we innovate on this? Uh, ask five points. Maybe maybe you can come up with some ideas. Hmm, he might come up with a five five point stadium. Ooh. Hmm. All right. Anyway, it's like Chinese checkers. <laughs> God. Anyway, next Teddy says he watches. Oh God! Anyway, next game, 
playoff implication game, Dolphins Patriots. Oh god, these fuckers are gonna make me pick the Patriots, aren't they? <laughs> the Dol uh Dolphins lost to uh the Packers and are to a list, and the Patriots are the Patriots. Mm-hmm. What has been my algorithm all year with the Patriots? Uh, going but, up, going up against good QBs, they failed. Going up against bad QBs, they win. And they're going to be playing uh, against Teddy Bridgewater. So, hate Patriots win. Ugh, you really don't. Um, yeah, you, do, you don't want to say that. Uh, um, but if it keeps Miami out of playoff contention, then yeah, I, I, yeah. I guess. I guess you want could... the Patriots to get into playoff contention then? No, because if the Jets win out, they get they get the tiebreaker. Oh, okay. Yes. So, take the Patriots to win, and so is the coin. Mm -hmm. So far, we're all the same. We have all picked the same thing, including the coin. Yes, we have. That's and, weird. Well, this well we're getting to well some of these guys are easy matchups. Like for example, this next one. Saints Eagles. Oh Christ! <laughs> uh, are the Eagles going to be fielding a quarterback that is better than Andy Dalton? Uh, let well, let's see the let's check on the injury situation. I because because if Gardner Minshew, yes. If uh, Jalen Hurts, yes. If whoever they have as their third string quarterback, probably. Uh, Jalen Hurst is still dealing with that shoulder injury. Day-to-day, uh, -day, if he play, if he's healthy, he'll play. Mm -hmm. I like those Let's odds. I like those odds. Yes or yes. Yes or, or yes. Or probably. Uh, God, because, yeah, the, oh, well, the plot, well do, let's put it this way. The Saints didn't do a good. They kept Deshaun Watson out of the playoffs. You're welcome. Oh, they they wound up with Ian Book. Hmm. Oh, they oh they started Ian Book. No, 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 no. I mean the the Eagles. Oh, the Eagles' third stringer is now Ian Book. But he was a Saint last year. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> the right. The Ian Book revenge game, but but not not. Really. Oh my god. That but, oh. But, but no, that no. not a storyline. Well, now who's the. E now, who's the Saints' third-string quarterback then? Probably Taysom Hill. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's probably Taysom. Mm -hmm. All right, but uh, in any case, uh, Eagles, got the, Eagles, Eagles got this by a country mile, even though the spread is minus seven. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, this one's pretty cut and dry. Uh, Saints are not that guy right now. Also, their third stringer is Jake Luton. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, Eagles. <laughs> All right, coin has de has deviated. They're taking the Saints. Oh God! There. And so it begins. So it begins. Next uh, up. All right, next up, Colts Giants. Hey, this might be a team the Giants can beat. <laughs> uh, honestly, and again, this is a situation where Giants win. They're in. Yeah, L literally. Uh, I think mm -hmm. uh, Ian Rappaport did a thing earlier. I forgot. I had to I have to look it out. But I believe the uh, that they they came up with all the scenarios of how like each of the current playoff teams uh, in the playoff picture uh, can win, and the top one for the Giants is win. Just win, yeah. baby. just just win, baby. Yeah. And this Colts team, shock of shocks, Nick Foles wasn't going to fix what ails them. Nope. Maybe it's because they have a an ESPN analyst as their head coach, but maybe maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? But um, yeah, Giants, like this, how the f is this practice squad led by Danny Dimes going to be making the playoffs? Kicking and screaming. Mm-hmm. Like. Brian Dable is a fucking wizard, dude. Like, I don't know what the coach of the year odds are, but like, he's pro he's got to be getting negative odds for that. He's he's got to be a shoe. Eh? Either him or Nick Sirianni. 
Mm -hmm. Coach of the Year odds. Let's find out. But uh, yes, but uh, while you do that, I'm picking the Giants. I assume you're picking the Giants, or are you taking the or are you taking an upset with the Colts? Oh yeah, yeah. I'll take the Giants. Um, okay, so according to Bet MGM, oh wow, Brian Dable is fourth. Oh, uh, who who's uh, three two one? So three is Kyle Shanahan at plus two thousand. Okay. Brian Dable is getting plus twenty five hundred odds. Okay. That feels that feels exploitable. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so it's Kyle Shanahan at plus two thousand. Dan Campbell at plus two fifty. I don't know about that. Well, we'll we'll, we'll like, see. We'll see come the end of the year. Sure. And then Nick Sirianni minus two twenty five. Oh God, yes. Yeah. Although I'm a little surprised that Doug Peterson isn't a little higher. He's he's tied for fifth along with uh Kevin O'Connell at plus 2800. Yeah, O'Connell O'Connell should be higher. Yeah. I think all all five of those guys should be ahead of Dan Campbell. I think he's just getting ahead. Uh I think he's just that high on the list because he's fun to root for. Yeah. Like you who know, like bite who your kneecaps off if you don't vote for him. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, uh the coin has selected the Giants to win this one. Mhm. Mm all right. All right. Next matchup. Uh, playoff implications again in an NFC South matchup. Pan Panthers taking on the Buccaneers. How the fuck is this a playoff implications game? Because if the Panthers win, they're the number one seed. That they're the number one seed in the in, South. In the South. In the South. Yes, in the South. We want to. Yeah. <laughs> Well, want to implicate this that no, there's no way the Panthers are going to be the number one seed now because that's already there. It's going to be impossible because the 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 Right. What if? Yeah. So yeah, the Panthers win. They have the tiebreaker. Mm hmm. Uh, All right. And the Panthers uh just absolutely just made the uh, the lion uh made the lions look like kittens. Mm hmm. And the Buccaneers. Say again. I said, "Kitty, go rap." Mm -hmm. And Teddy just did a like a claw motion. <laughs> <laughs> and meanwhile, the Buccaneers limp their way to a victory. They probably one of the most yeah. boring Sunday night games. <laughs> oh man, we might be on the verge of Sam Darnold knocking Tom Brady out of the playoffs, just as the Jets wanted to have happen. When they drafted him. Yeah, except we wanted him to be on our team. Yeah. Hey, hey I will take whatever method results in Tom Brady getting bopped for the playoffs. Good. Make him retire faster. <laughs> uh, uh, man, Buck's going to be hard fuck when he retires. Or maybe not. Maybe the team will get better once he retires because he's 45 years old and uh, playing like he is 65. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Tampa is the favorite in this game of minus three. I'm picking the mm -hmm. up. I'm going to take the upset. I'm going to take the Panthers over the Buccaneers. Yeah, this may be like me just wanting this, like wishing this into existence, but I'm doing the same thing. I'm taking the Panthers. All right. We have picked the first six games all the same. Whoops. Oh, boy. Uh, and so has the coin. The coin has selected. Oh, I spelled coin. They have selected the Panthers to win, too. Well, the Panthers picked the Saints, so they at least have one. Deviation, but, but yeah, yeah, like the the running game for the uh, for the Panthers is so strong right now, which you wouldn't have expected since they got rid of C Christian McCaffrey. Right. Also, Christian McCaffrey got snubbed from the Pope from the Pro Bowl. Really? Yeah, he's like the best running back in the league right now. How? Uh, because they couldn't, maybe because they couldn't decide if he could run pass or throw, if it could be the uh, running back, uh, wide receiver or quarterback. Ah, they split his votes among all of his positions. Yes. There you go. There you go. That's the reason. Mm, big brain. <laughs> all right. Anyway, moving on. Next game is an AFC West matchup. Broncos Chiefs. Seven in a row. <laughs> I think. Wait, seven in a row or 14 in a row? Oh, uh, 
uh, we picked the same team for the seventh time in a row. Oh, God. <laughs> because I swear to God, if you say Broncos, I am leaving this this show. No, I'm picking the Chiefs. But but speaking of other streaks, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is... Uh, what's the current streak at for uh, the, the Broncos' losses to the Chiefs? Is it like... Oh. It's like thir- it's it's an odd mm-hmm. number. It's like thirteen or fifteen. Mm-hmm. Uh, I could look it up. I get it. Broncos losses. Uh, Broncos recent games versus the Chiefs. Yes. That that'll do this. Yeah, I think the last time they won was I think twenty sixteen. Wow. I mean, that would make sense, because that was the last time they had a decent starting quarterback. Yeah, but the quarterback in 2016, I think, was... Uh... Oh, crap, was that, was that Paxton Lynch? No. No, because 2016 was Super Bowl 50. No, no, you're thinking of 20, the 2015 season you're thinking of. Oh, right. So it would be, would it be Osweiler? It might have been. Uh, Osweiler been, on the, on, yeah, it might have been Brock Osweiler. No, Osweiler got, I think you're right, it was Paxton Lynch. Ooh, I'd probably still take Paxton Lynch over, over Russell Wilson at this point. Ugh, yeah. I'd take, they, Brent, I'd, I'd take Brett Rippin. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, taking the Chiefs. Let's see what the coin says. Uh, and they are not drunk. They are taking the Chiefs. Okay. Well, I just checked. Yeah, it's the... not drunk, but it's all very boring. Yeah, and I'm just looking at the spread. Yeah, this is the largest spread at 13 and a half. Mm-hmm. Normally, that I w- feels right. Yeah. Normally, I would say double it, but I actually think the Broncos might cover the spread, given how they pull. They somehow play against the Chiefs lately. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm thinking. But that's just me. Yeah. yeah. All I'll right. Take Chiefs. All right. Next game on the docket. Bears Lions. Uh Bears got their butts kicked by the Bales. Lions uh got pounded by the by the Panthers. Panthers always pounding ass. They keep on pounding. They keep on pounding, and oh my god, 300 yards? It's enough pounding, guys. You've, <laughs> yeah. pound them, you've pounded them into a fine powder. Uh, yeah, Lions are looking for a recovery. Bears are hoping for a low draft pick. Or... <laughs> and we're going to get it. Yeah, that's fair. It's a bit... we're, one, we're one more accidental Texans been away from the number one overall pick. Yeah. Like, and granted, that probably isn't going to happen, but, like, the fact that it could is just wild. Yeah, that is true. There is a possibility that, uh, well, you probably would trade, well, would you trade out of it, or would you go, would you? Absolutely. Absolutely, I'd trade out of it. Like, because the number one pick is going to be Bryce Young, all right? We don't Uh need a quarter. Right. So, you know, the, the, as soon as we secure the number one overall pick, we're going to be waving this this pick out to the Panthers or the Colts or the or the maybe the Cardinals, mm. like all just like who wants it? Who wants Bryce Young? I'm starting the bidding at three first round picks. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, in any case, uh, I think the Lions will get the win here. This should probably be a, come, a comeback win, especially when they're playing at home. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't. I don't really see any. Uh, I don't really see anything coming up that could hurt their chances. But then again, uh, we did pick the Lions to uh, pound on the Panthers, but that did not happen. Mm-hmm. No reverse card. Right. Anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah. Detroit wins. Alrighty. Jesus. God damn it, the coin can't stop. Like, I get that we're picking the same team over and over again because it's like 
it's obvious for most of these, but come come to F on now. I know. All right. Next game on the docket, Browns Commanders. Uh, not again. <laughs> it's a battle of the two worst franchises currently. Yeah. Like, remember that scene in Batman Begins, or the Dark Knight Rises where the stadium just completely collapses and both teams just get swallowed up and Heinz Ward is just in the end zone? Like, what? Mm-hmm. That. You want I the- predict that. You want, you want that to happen to FedEx Field? <laughs> I'm rooting for Bane. Uh, uh, God. Yeah, this is, this is, like, I don't like this matchup at all. Commanders, uh, Commanders still have a shot at the playoffs if they win. Mm-hmm. But, uh, and the Browns have already been bounced, so it's just like... Yeah. Give me the commanders. They're like they're slightly less scumbaggy in recent years. Yeah. Only slightly. Don't look too deeply into that sentence. Yeah. Well the coin selected the commanders. I'm selecting the commanders. Are you been selecting the commanders right. out of spite? Yeah. Gee. Yeah. We have not deviated once. I might go back and change one of my picks to something else, because this is getting monumentally boring. Uh, well, uh, I can think of, like, two or three coming up that w- that might change it. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to be sad man and change Panthers into Buccaneers. Okay. Something's got to change. I, uh, I know there's going to be a few coming up, but even if that's the case, like, only, like, two or three deviations for this is going to make this lame. Alrighty. Alright, next game on the docket, Jaguars Texans. Both of these teams yeah, w- God. Both of these teams won. One of these teams yes. we, we did not expect to win. But I predicted <laughs> to win. Good for you. <laughs> Jaguars now are the le- <laughs> are now ahead in the uh uh the AFC South. The Texans uh control their own destiny to get the number one pick. Right, like the the, I thought the Jaguars were gonna like make a little bit of a jump. Oddly enough, up to about seven wins. I didn't think that would be enough to win the AFC South. <laughs> you, oh also, my God, they could win. This, they could win the NF- that fast. They could win the NFC South for all we care. <laughs> uh, it's like this, as, as we have learned over the years. Uh, the South in general is just trash. Yeah, well, well, now it is. I mean, there was a, well, there was a time where uh, the the Colts and Titans were battling out for the top spot, or oh, I wasn't talking about football. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Yeah. You're talk, talking about something completely different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We. Dark times. <laughs> anyway, uh, taking the Jaguars to win. Uh, betting odds for this game. Four and a half. Double it. I'm saying double, double it. it. Double it. Double it. Double uh, it. The Texans are actually not playing too bad. Double it. Yes. Double it to nine. Uh, nine. Let's see what the coin. Let's see what the coin says. They are picking the Texans to win. Finally. There we the go. Rock oh, no. Has come back. There we go. There's the deviation we needed. Hallelujah. All right. Next game. Now we're into four o'clocks. 49ers taking on the Raiders. 49ers look uh, good. What? Raiders don't look. Raiders do not. The Raiders just got like immaculate reception to immaculate interception. Yeah. Like Raiders are trash and the 49ers are still cooking Brock Purdy is still that guy Mm -hmm. he is still relevant Mm -hmm. that is going to be the name of his 30 for 30 documentary once his career ends and he goes into the hall of fame Mr. what if I told you that the most relevant person in the draft was Mr. Irrelevant Mm -hmm. ESPN film presents a 30 for 30 documentary 
relevant the Brock Purdy story. Saturday at nine on ESPN. Catch it on ESPN Plus. Meanwhile, uh, the Raiders, uh, their locker room is d- hate hates what's going on. You, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I, it is a detestable situation. <laughs> yep, Josh Josh Jacob is angry. Derek Carr is pissed off. Mm-hmm. But Devontae Derek Carr is going to be the starting quarterback for the Colts next year. Oh, please don't let that be. The only thing that's even remotely nice about this whole situation is the fact that the Raiders are six and nine. Ah, nice. Ah, nice. This is the only week where we can do that because there's actually a fifth been fifteen games played. And- there's a six and a nine. Yep, that is that is so, true. So who are the nice teams? Oh fuck! One of the one of those teams is the Browns. Yeah, not nice. Not nice. Not nice. Yeah. And uh, the Saints and the Panthers. Yeah. <laughs> and only one of these teams is actually has a chance to make the playoffs. Yes. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm taking the Niners in this one. This should be oh, a, yeah, yeah. It's six 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 point favorites. I say I say that's reasonable. Well, sure. All right, and the coin has also selected the 49ers. Mm-hmm. There we go. Okay, hopefully now we'll get a deviation. Currently among us, Jets mm-hmm. Seahawks. Jets Seahawks. Oh man, you're asking me to bet against Mike White? You dirtbag! The, the the last four games for the Jets have had playoff implications. Uh huh. Against the, Lions. the Seahawks. Yeah. Surprise! Yeah, surprisingly, but this this one this will determine if they are like this really will determine who is like who still is in contention and who is out because, mm-hmm. because if the excuse me if the if the Jets if the Jets win Seahawks are out if the Seahawks win the Jets are out mm-hmm. yeah, Seahawks though have lost three in a row and five six yeah like their nose diving fast and like Jets defense is really hard to throw on. Yeah. Uh, and uh, is Kenneth Walker still out, or did he come back? Um, Seahawks. Seahawks, Seahawks, Seahawks. Let me find the injury list. Um, not there. Come on. Continue. Um, but in any, in any case, this is... This is uh this is a must win for both teams. Uh it it will mm-hmm. keep uh either team needs to win in order to keep their playoff hopes alive. I don't think a tie is especially because a tie is not going to help either in their current situation. Yeah. In doing so, I'm picking the Jets to win. They are the favorites. Mike White has been cleared. Uh hopefully this will give a little bit more pep in their step to uh, to you know, finally get some like, uh, finally get some winning chances back in their, uh, yeah, in uh, in that life at from at Florham Park because, dang it, I'm struggling. Like this is, like this should be a pl- this is a playoff team that is, this is just ready, and I feel like their window, the Jets' window, is also closing. Mm-hmm. Just, just to freaking end their eleven game, uh, eleven season, eleven year playoff streak, playoff drought. Excuse me. Yeah. Okay. So Kenneth Walker finished the game against the uh, against the Chiefs. So he's uh. not bad, but he's he's questionable for now. All right. I'll take the Seahawks. Okay. I'll feel great about it. And the coin. Is also selecting the Seahawks. Okay. So I am the lone one in this one. <laughs> All right. Next, Vikings Packers. Vikings have clinched. The 
Packers are still alive. Somehow. Technically, this game does not happen on a, in prime time, so we're in good shape there. No, and I... It might be game of the week, though. Yeah, but also, Christian Watson, I think, is injured right now. Yeah, Christian Watson is injured, and then also... Um, uh, what's his that the their punt their punt return their kick returner is also injured. Yeah, yeah, uh, Nixon. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, because he's also done. Uh, ooh, excuse me. Uh, meanwhile, Vikings. Uh, they're they're in the playoffs. They've they've uh, secured the uh, NFC North seed. Mm-hmm. Sounds so good. Uh, it's not looking good. Like it, it's going to be a tough one because the Packers now that they're what are they on like a three game win streak? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, they're on a three game win streak. They're coming in home at Lambeau, looking for revenge uh, for for week one. Uh, initially, I think I had them winning uh, way early in the season. Uh, this game. Uh, yeah. but given the current status, uh, looking at the stat line, the Packers are the favorites. I mean, people are starting to think that the, the Vikings are frauds. Uh, yeah, uh, they, al- well, like, they almost lost to the Giants. Yeah, that they, they required a 61 yard field goal to win, which like you, you don't expect to see the Vikings win games based off of their kicking, but hey, there you go. Yeah, but aren't also aren't they like on a like a like a really good streak uh, uh, playing in games that are like uh, one score or less? Yeah, yeah, like the the Vikings. I think that they've won eleven one score games or something. Yeah, they're eleven. Being and... ridiculous. Yeah, they're eleven and zero. Yeah, I think that set a record. Yeah. Uh, so, weirdly, weirdly, I'm picking technically the upset in this game. I'm taking the Vikings to beat the Packers, and the Packers' season will end in Lambeau. Mm-hmm. I am going to edge my bets. I'm going to take the Packers. <gasps> Ooh. Because if they win, then, like, I've got one of like two deviations over you so i'll be that much closer to the win okay if they lose then the packers are bopped from the playoffs and i'm happy okay well coin has selected the packers to win as well all right all right next this is the game that got bopped out for the real sunday night game rams chargers yeah, it's a shame because like now it's suddenly looking like, hey, the Rams are are not trash. Well, you could have left that in there. <laughs> yeah, uh, Chargers they they secured they secured their first uh, playoff win as we said uh, by playoff uh, appearance uh, in the Herbert era as we mentioned earlier in the show. Uh, Rams, uh, if you watch, but if you had managed to watch that game against the Broncos, please uh, please call the number at the bottom of your screen. You're entitled to a comp- you might be entitled to compensation. Oh my god! The best part about that game, besides you know Russell Wilson getting clowned by a freaking starfish, mm-hmm. was uh, like honestly the Nickelodeon broadcast has gotten to the point where it's must watch, and I don't think it's for the reasons that they want, but it's still very entertaining. Yeah, I did see a little bit like, of it, like like the little claw machine that picked up uh, Baker Mayfield and flew him across the across the stadium that was fun <laughs> uh, also like they shot off so much gak in the end zone every yeah. time every time the the ram score they shot off the gak fountains and it's just like, like surprised yeah. they didn't run out yeah i can't i can't wait to see what they do for the uh once we get to the into the wild card round because that they usually oh, yeah. they usually have they always have one game and it's usually the worst game Mm-hmm. <laughs> also, finally, somebody from the winning team won MVP. Yes. Uh, who, who was it uh, that won, though? 
Baker. Oh, it was Baker. Okay. Mm-hmm. Fine, fine. I mean, he deserved it. He had the best passer rating of the entire week. Yeah, good on him. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile. Like, the way he's playing the last three games, like, he's basically guaranteed that he's going to stick around in the league. Oh, yeah. Because like, he is. That was not guaranteed. Yeah. Uh, yeah, given. Jeez. Oh, I, I don't know if people are going to, like, go over him right away. I think they'll get a little. I think McVeigh will keep him in. I think McVeigh will keep him in uh, what you call it in uh, Los anyway. Angeles. Mm-hmm. Uh, just to make just think that's a great place for him because like he, he, he him being Stafford's backup for a year or two. Number one, it lets him like heal from any injuries that he may have. Mm-hmm. Uh, it'll let him like. Uh, learn under a really good offense and like Stafford's been banged up so much that he'll still probably see like four to six games a season, just like filling in for an injured Stafford. Right. So yeah, like that, that, that would make tons of sense. Yeah. Meanwhile, on the other side, uh, Oh look, the chargers have a defense. Yeah. Where'd that come from? <laughs> I didn't think that was possible. Yeah, well, it, well, Nick Foles did throw three interceptions. Two of the, two of them were in the first quarter. Mm-hmm. Good God, I'm just looking. yeah. I think he might have run out of uh, of that big dick Nick energy. Yeah, I'm just looking. One, two, three, four, five, seven sacks. Seven, yep. seven sacks, three interceptions. Yep, and as um. Uh... Uh, who was it? Brandon Perna said uh, some of them went to people. I do not even know who the fuck these people are. Uh, yes. Like I'm, I'm guessing you're looking, uh, you're looking at the uh, stat numbers. Like there's at least one guy on there who's just like who got two sacks, and it's just like, oops. Yeah, Morgan Fox. This guy that... That's not even the one he was saying. <laughs> there's another one, I think. Uh, Drew Tranquil, Kenneth Mur- well, Kenneth Murray, I know. Kyle Van Noy, we know. Khalil Mack, we know. Mm-hmm. Chris Rumpf II. That's, That's also not the guy, but, like, oops. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Yeah, um, well, well, the three interceptions were Michael Davis, uh, Derwin James, and Asante Samuel. By the way, uh, Derwin James, screw you for that hit. I mean, the 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 ejection was basically not even necessary because like he still would have, or he still ended up getting, like he would have gone into concussion protocol either way. Yeah. Like he he brained himself just as much as he brained the other guy. Yeah, that's true. So who's gonna? So the question is now, who's gonna show up? The the Rams offense or the Chargers defense? Because I'm putting my money on the Chargers defense to win this game. It's a reaction. I want to take the Rams. It's like the Rams last, like two of the last three weeks, the Rams have actually played like a, a team, a competent team. Mm-hmm. And this is a team that doesn't even have Cooper Cup anymore. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Wow. Well, the Take cool. the Rams. All right. Well, the coin selected the Chargers, and so am I. So there's a defi- There's another deviation. Yeah, we finally got to the deviations in the se- in the uh, evening games. Yep. Ooh, excuse me. All right. Next uh, Sunday night game, the game that got flexed: Steelers Ravens. Ravens. Yeah, are- that's fair. Yep. Uh, Ravens already. Uh, uh, Ravens, they're already clinched. Steelers still have a chance to call Super Bowl. Mm. Like Mike Tomlin, I, I appreciate that you are doing your very best with this organization, but no, yeah, you're not good. Yeah, like, I much as they, what do they have to say it? Yeah, like Tomlin, I love yeah. you. Steelers not going to Super Bowl. Steelers not going to Super Bowl. No. Still has not got so football. <laughs> Sad. Sad Yinzer noises. Mm. Well, apparently, well, unfortunately, the coin is still Yinzerings because they have picked the Steelers to win. 
There we go. All right, you taking the Ravens? I take it. Yep. All right. Finally, game of the week. An I, actually good game. Yes, Monday Night Football, Bills, Bengals. Ah, uh, yes. This could be the AFC Championship game again, and I don't think anybody would mind. No, 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 no. I would, I would heavily appreciate this. Uh, Cincinnati uh, beat uh, beat the Patriots in the first half, but and but and still won. Bills mm-hmm. beat the ever living stuffing out of the Bears. Yeah, it's sad. Like, the, this is Bill's fan that I have to work with. And um, going into the game, I was just like, look, we're not going to win. I know this for a fact. But we could at least cover the spread. I think we're going to cover the spread. We did not cover the spread. No, you did not. <laughs> and then afterwards, he was just like, hey, how about them bears? And I was just like, no, I blame you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. But, yeah, this is this is clearly the game of the week uh it's a close it's not quite a pick em. Uh, bills are one and a half point favorites but you might as well just call it a toss-up because this is i think the closest yeah. spread yeah uh, caesars has a met uh minus one mm-hmm. so it's it's it's, it's, it's a pick. pick yeah i don't it's tight i i want to go I, I wanted to go to this game but i fairly certain that my girlfriend has work the next day and i'm gonna have to take i have to take her work regardless and i do not want also to be- tickets for this game cost 189 dollars how, you- how would you have done that mm. like that the- it says the the fine tickets thing uh says tickets as low as 189 Ugh. okay never mind but granted there's probably some uh ticket aggregate that lower but like it's Probably, but yeah, I don't want to be yeah. dri- I don't want to be driving back in the dark. I already drove way too much uh, going back home to New York. Mm-hmm. Uh, but right. I will. Wa- but I will watch this. Heck, I might even stream it. Right. That'd be fun. Yeah. Uh, in any case, I am taking the Bills to win, and with this, I if they do win, they're mm-hmm. I believe they're like. What's, I'm just checking the spread. I just I'm checking like the standings. Says they, I think if the if they win here or if they win the next game, if they win the next two games, they secure themselves as the number one seed. Hmm. Interesting. Because they have I because a bet, I remember I remember placing a bet earlier this year in the preseason that was uh, bets win the most games, and like. If the, if the Eagles lose one more game, they could get that, but they'd have to win out. Yeah, because I'm looking. Because, so still... uh, hang on, let me just quick update this because I was doing some finicking around. Because if because the Bills currently have the tiebreaker with the Chiefs because they did beat the Chiefs earlier in the year. Mm-hmm. So if they went out and the Chiefs went out, the Bills get the tie get the number one pick. The, the the number one seed, right? Yeah. So, if so, basically, if the Bills, yeah, it's got to come down to if the Bills win or if the Chiefs lose. Right. But uh, in this case, let's go Bills Mafia. Uh, I'm I'm actually going to take the Bengals. Oh, okay. I, I think, they, yeah, I think that, I think that they're a hotter team right now. Like, like, yeah, the the bear or the the bills, the bills are doing what they need to do, but the Bengals are too. Like, I feel like this game doesn't really have a wrong. Nah, like nah. either of these teams could win, and it would be totally fine. Yeah, yeah, not really, because yeah, the both both teams are, yeah, both teams are looking hot. Mm-hmm. Uh, the only thing is that uh, I'm just trying. I'm just trying to think here. Just doing some math right here on playoff predictor. Because uh, if mm-hmm. the Bengals, let's say if the Bengals win out and they beat the mm-hmm. Ravens, 
and if the Chiefs decide to, let's say, if they win this week and they rest their starters against the Raiders, the Bengals are the number one seed. But why would they rest their starters if the one seed is still up for grabs? Yeah, that's that's fair, actually. I, I know, or or it's like something happens where you know they like the rest of their stars in the second half, and the Ra- and the Raiders somehow win. Hmm. Hmm. I but, don't know. Yeah, but this is yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be a good game. Uh, and also, this is also this weekend is also the uh, the college football semifinals are this week. Interesting. Yeah, so we got the the Peach Bowl as well as the Fiesta Cotton Bowl. No, no, the Fi- I think the Fiesta Bowl. Hmm. Let's see if we play off schedule. Uh, it is. Let me to look at this. Uh, uh, yeah, the Fiesta Bowl and the Peach Bowl are 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 Saturday, the thirty first. Right. Okay. Yep. Yeah, so. Got that to look forward to uh, that weekend as well as week 17. Uh, Till then, we will see you in the next year. Yes. Hopefully 2023 will bring us better football than it has in 2022.